Hey guys, it's KC. Welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. Today, um, I want to show you some new stickers that are going to be available in my shop. And also do a plan with me or decorate with me video for my classic size productivity miss maker layout that's available in my shop so first i want to show you uh real quick we have autumn gnomes um and we have matching colorful boxes so i have redone my boxes again these boxes have bullet points we have teardrops um we have flags we also have like a scalloped washi i don't think these cut very well um, but we have a scalloped washi. We also have some flags and then our boxes and just some regular bullet points So I have two colors to match autumn gnomes And then we have late summer days, which are sunflowers with some really pretty pinks um, in pinks and yellows and then we have um, two colorful boxes to match and this one I love it's it's fall y'all and these colors are so pretty we have two different colorful boxes that match and then we have the same thing in larger size now of course I only have clear sheets to show you but these are also available in white removable and I'm also adding another white sticker paper to my shop I'm just waiting on it to get here it's going to be a lower price but it is not removable so it's permanent but it is not the white permanent bright it's just a basic sticker paper um, so anyways we have it's fall y'all and then for my large sticker sheets I have done sticker kits um, so we have decorative boxes we have some washi and then we have some headers remember note important appointment today and two of the to do's so you'll have this option these larger sheets in the white removable are five dollars I'm thinking the larger sheets in just the basic white paper are probably going to be four dollars so they'll be like a dollar cheaper um, and then we have <clears throat> I'm bringing back I'm sorry I'm bringing back my large sticker sheets I don't think that you guys really enjoyed um all of like the last releases kind of sticker sheets or colorful boxes so I'm just going to kind of I'm going to phase those out and I'm bringing back my large boxes so all of these boxes are the same size boxes that were on my previous sheets I've just kind of put them closer together I figured out a way to format my sheets so that I get more and so we have some small bullet points here and you can't really see them on the page but we have some flags some teardrops and then three square bullet points as well so so I've just added more options for the same price these are five dollars so this is um, it's fall y'all and then we have autumn gnomes and so we have the same thing available in the larger sheets along with the decorative kit um, sticker sheet and the same thing for late summer days so I've worked really hard like it, it takes a lot to format all of these um, and turn them into stickers so I worked really hard trying to get that for you guys but I try to do when I can what you guys ask for y'all have been asking for sticker kits so technically you could just buy these two sheets and you could do a whole planner spread just with these two sheets um, so okay now hopefully you watched all of that and didn't fast forward but if you um, did fast forward I completely understand so let's go ahead and get into the plan with me uh oh get this off the discs so this is what I consider my catch-all this is the Miss Maker productivity layout that is available in my shop and you'll notice that I have started dating my planners I'm working on that for you guys um, which ones do I want to use I think I'm gonna use late summer days for this spread so let's see maybe use I love this yellow color it is so pretty so let's see doesn't quite fit in the sidebar y'all let me know in the comments if you would prefer that I go ahead and um, make these fit exactly in the classic size sidebar I just hate to do that because for those of us who use big planners I want I want stickers to be like multi functional is that even a word um, so I want us to be able to use them in any kind of sticker layout so I think I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of sticker surgery 
and this is why I say that none of my stickers are exactly sized for any particular planner okay um, because you can always make a sticker work for the layout that you're using so I'm just going to take my ruler here and I'm going to slice this and hope that I don't slice my wax paper this blade sounds really dull and it's not that old let's see if this works nope all right so let me go ahead and switch the blade I've got to find my blades here they are okay so this is Ek tools and I think I have this listed down in my description I'm not sure um, but it should be listed in my description so it's very easy to switch out these blades all you do is stick it back in the um, little case and I want to say that I did not throw away the last one that I switched so this is probably an old blade too so then you just put it on top here you screw it into your little tool and it's retractable I love it and then just pull it out of the box and so then you have a brand new blade so it's egg tools I got it all on Amazon um, love it and like I said I think it's um, listed below so I need to throw those away anyways um, let's go back and try this again and see if it was the blade I don't know if it was the blade or if it was just operator error we're gonna try a new blade and see what happens oh yeah <laughs> that sounds so much better okay so it was the blade and I did cut my washi I mean my wax paper but I did not cut my spread all right and then all we're gonna do is I want to I'm gonna kind of center this as uh oh as good as I can try not to get my head in the video All right, and then I'm just going to lay this over top and make it look like a complete box. As good as I can anyway. So like I said, this just goes to show you that you can resize and repurpose any box to whatever you need it to and that may be a little bit crooked but I'm okay with it I'm just gonna leave it and so I did slice my um, wax paper but oh well all right and so oh and I think I did fix my um, filming to where I don't have like the the focus box that kept showing up <laughs> in your in my past few videos sorry about that um, so now let's see let's just put this really cute corner sunflower floral up here I just changed my blades and for some reason they're just I don't know if you've ever used Cricut before you know that it's just a royal pain to get everything just right and I'm just gonna let that kind of go over my box I'm not gonna be too peculiar about over or under or whatnot in this spread I'm just gonna get it decorated because like I said today's already Tuesday um, I've been working really hard filling orders um, I have just a handful of orders left to get filled um, and I will probably have those all done today and tomorrow so today is Tuesday tomorrow's Wednesday <clears throat> and those are mainly like my sale um, from the sale that I had the half price 50% off sale that I had on my um, dividers and covers all right so I think I'm going to just put maybe I don't know what do I want to do here I'm going to put this typewriter in the box and then I'm going to try to find like a small quote to go at the bottom of the page I think that'll be cute I think that's what I'm gonna do and so I'm, I got a new um a new microphone to use and so I'm trying to get my I just cannot seem to get my filming set up just right the way that I want it so I'm hoping that I can get all of my sound lined up to this video 
<laughs> because I'm actually my sound is not going to be in with the video it's it's going to be separate so I'm going to have to line it up in editing if you know what I mean so hopefully I can get that done and so what I'm using now is Amber Amber plans her day these are her Bible journaling essentials I love the quotes in here I know I have faith quotes in my shop um, but I, I still as a small shop owner like to support my friends with small shops and so Amber is one of my good friends she has helped me so much and um, so I always try to return the favor and she'll ask me questions about, you know, shop stuff. How do you do this? Where do you get that? And so we just help each other as much as we can. So I definitely want to support my friends with their small shops anytime that I can. I cannot get this sticker off the page. But I'm just going to use John, 1 John 4, 9. This just says loved. And I'm just going to put it at the bottom just to have a small quote down here. So pretty. All right. And then we're going to decorate. I think I want to use my decorative sheets. How about that? So let's do. If you'll notice too, let me just go ahead and tell you this. So on my decorative sheets, I've added a third color box. So there's a third color here. So on my large and on my small um, colorful boxes, you're only going to find the two main colors, but then you're going to find a third color if you get the decorative sheet. Okay, so what do I want to use here? I think I want to go ahead and throw in, this is kind of like a light brownish tan color. I think we're just going to kind of put it here. I always like to stagger my boxes. If you're new here, I do not like to put boxes directly inside of um, like planner boxes. I don't want them to fit perfectly. I think it looks too uniform and um, I like things to be kind of staggered and mixed up like that. Oh yeah, and we can use, let's see. Let's use importance here. So we're going to put important right here. That is super cute. And then let's keep going. I think I want to use maybe, let's just keep going with like some, let's just use all of these boxes and not vertical boxes. Let's see how that goes. Okay. Alright, and so now let's put a, um, a sticker with this. I think I'm going to use this little um, galvanized pail or bucket with some sunflowers in it. I think I'm just going to kind of pop this right here. We're not going to worry about um, erasing or whiting out the, the sticker or anything like that. We're just going to leave it like it is um, and just go with it. So let's see. I think I want to put to do in this box there. And then I am going to come back and use some washi. So let's see what we can do over here box wise. Now we're going to use one of these light kind of, this kind of like an orangey yellow color. And I think I'm going to put this down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this down because this one's up top and I don't want it to be exact. I always say that I don't like my spreads to be exact on both pages. I want things kind of staggered and um, similar but not the same. So we'll put that there. And I do believe I want to come up top here with a quote. Since I have a quote at the bottom, I want a quote at the top. So let's find a quote in. Okay, so we're going to go with the same theme, I guess. And so this one says, I am loved. I am so loved. I think I'm going to use that. But let's just check them out first. I love her little quotes. <clears throat> yep, 
yeah let's go with that one so but I don't want the hearts okay I don't want the hearts so I'm just gonna cut the hearts out before I even pull the sticker off the page if I can get the sticker off the page Ugh. need my tweezers That was hard. Okay. All right. And so I think I'm going to put it, I'm going to put it here and then maybe decorate with a floral over top of it. Okay. And I didn't really even need to white out that line there. So let's find a floral to go up above here. I think I'm going to use these sunflowers, but I want them to stay inside of the box. So I'm going to go ahead and use my X-Acto and kind of cut sort of what I need in the box. Just use it on this. That's the great thing about my clear sticker paper is you can kind of pre-cut. You can pre-cut while it, the sticker is still on the page instead of trying to cut um, and then cut when you've set the sticker down and then try to pull it up. Sometimes they don't pull up very easy. So let's see how well I did. Probably not perfect, but it is okay. All right, so that is super cute. And then, I mean, we could even put some sort of decorative thing here. Let's go to my small sheet and see what we've got. I think I might use, I think I don't know what I'm going to use. <laughs> All right, I'm going to use this and I'm going to cut it kind of at an angle on the bottom so that it just sort of sits sideways and doesn't get, oh, I cut it the wrong way, get in the way of my quote. That is cute. Now, what else? Let's see. And already my video is 17 minutes long. Imagine that. Um, so we use, oh, I need an orange over here, but I don't want to do orange. I should have done orange up top. I wonder if I can get this off. Yeah, so we're going to do an orange sticker up top. Because I need orange over here on this side. All right, so there's that. And then I'm going to put this one down here. Crooked. So y'all let me know, are y'all ready for fall? I know it's been like a super hot summer for everybody, for all people involved. And I think we're all just kind of miserable and we're just sick of summertime everywhere. Are y'all sick of summertime? Because I am. All right, and I'm gonna stagger because I feel like I just need a little bit of extra something over here. So we're just gonna stagger that color. So now I have all three colors on both sides of the page or both sides of the spread. And I'm gonna white out this box because I don't like to be able to see it behind the other box that's layered on top like that. All right, and then I'm going to put a to-do, actually I'm going to put a today on this box because I have a to-do up here, so we're going to put a today down here. Okay, and I feel like I need a floral here. So, I could honestly put this down at the bottom and it would be cute. So I think that's what I'm going to do. We're going to use this sunflower like arrangement 
down here at the bottom and I'm just gonna not worry about whiting out lines I'm not I'm just gonna let it go over the lines and over the boxes and not be like super picky so this is really cute all right so let's see how my washi kind of fits in with these with this spread let's see what we can get done so I took the um, like the designs these little stickers and just scattered them all across the washi just to try to make it kind of cute so I think I'm gonna put this down at the bottom and then I might put a little bit at the top of the other page Like that yeah that's cute all right and then I still have another thing of washi so you could even really do like another spread or a mini spread out of um, these stickers because I didn't use like the whole sheets at all nowhere near the whole sheets um, should I pull in some bullet points I think I should oh and we also have I forgot about this so let's use some of my I want to show you guys everything so we have like the um, scalloped washi so we can put a little bit at the top of like some of our um, vertical boxes so we can do this and we could probably do a little bit down here no that's orange down there so let's do a little bit over here yeah let's do a little bit over here I love the scalloped um, washi like stickers they're so so cute it's so cute in a spread and I do have orange and orange but I'm gonna be okay with that I'm just gonna let it be so where else can I put this little tiny piece I feel like if I put it there I have too much orange on this sheet so we're gonna stick it on my washi I mean on my wax paper and then I'm gonna grab this pretty real pretty pale yellow and we're gonna come down here and put some I love these decorative sheets I love the, the decorative elements that I have added to my sticker sheets all right and then let's put a little bit here I cut that totally crooked so let's fix that so cute oh yeah I'm loving it okay so we're gonna stick that extra on my wax paper and then so this is what I was telling you I have these flags so we could actually um, you know use these however we wanted to to decorate um, I mean I could have done this I'm trying to sh find a place where I can actually show you how to use this so you would just kind of like overlay like that but I don't think I want to use that there because it's right beside a yellow box but at least I showed you how you could use it I mean or you could use it on your own its own as well I mean you know you could just use it anywhere and write in it um, so let's see oops okay and then we have teardrops we have bullet points and we have little flags so let's see what we can use let's use I like the um, little flags so we could use like a flag in this box and then we'll put one in this orange box up here cute and then let's see we'll get just maybe some orange flags just because that's what we did over here so we'll put one in this box and then um, maybe we'll put some a couple bullet points let's use a couple little bullet points in here hmm I don't know okay so I think I'm gonna come over here this will be my important list whatever that might be 
I'm just going to put a few. But you actually get uh, 10 of them. 10 of these little small bullet points. Oh, that's too close together. Okay. Maybe one or two more. I don't know if I'm evenly spacing them, but I'm trying. Okay. And so now we have like all the colors, all the decoration, um, just, and so I grabbed those bullet points too. Let me say this, but there are bullet points on and flags on these larger sheets. So you don't have to get the smaller sheets as well. If you just buy large sheets, you just don't get as many, but you still get the flags. You still get some teardrops. You, you get some squares and you get the little circles. So I just tried to kind of do everything that I could and fit everything into um, or onto that one sticker sheet. All right, so I think I'm finished with this. Let's put it back in my planner. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, you'll give it a thumbs up. I know it's almost 30 minutes long. Some of y'all love these long videos, and if you are one of those people, you're welcome. <laughs> so give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button, and make sure you follow me on, on Instagram if you're over there as well. So that's it for this spread. I'll see you guys on my next video. Thank y'all so much for watching. Bye, guys.